Really quick before this video starts, if you're looking for some Elden Ring runes or some kind of items from the game or whatever that you don't want to obtain yourself, these guys here will obtain them for you. Shout out to AOEAH.com. Their link will be in the description and use code TBE for 3% off at your checkout. Well, I just did my intro and talked a whole bunch and didn't even realize that my mic wasn't even on, so let's go ahead and do this again. Hey guys, the Better Editor, Editor. I'm coming at you guys with an Elden Ring rune glitch, and in this video we're going to be covering the glitch that I uh, posted a couple days ago, but this is going to be an alternate method on how to get there. Same location, but different spot on how to jump off the map here. Uh, and it's right here, it's underground. Do keep in mind that it's underground. Uh, how you get to this location, there'll be two videos linked down below. One video will show you how to get here with an NPC quest line that you can do pretty early in the game. And another video will be showing you how to get here without the NPC quest line that you can do later in the game, just in case you killed the NPC, or he's not on good terms with you, or he glitched out and you can't find him. It's the maidenless guy, basically, the, the white mask NPC. That That's who that is. But for this method, what we're going to be doing is going to this exact grace. This is where the bird farm is. As you can see, there's the birdie. This is also where that one farm is with the sacred sword or whatever it's called. This thingy. Uh, so you can come up here and do this whole thing and one-shot all them enemies and get a whole bunch of runes for it. But we're not going to be doing that. Uh, we're going to be glitching. So here's the glitch. You're going to get on your horse and go over here. And you want to get on top of this thingy right here. And to get on top of it, it's not that difficult. Uh, where these like plants are, jump up on this. And then your game's going to freeze twice. <clears throat> no, I'm kidding. It, it shouldn't freeze. Once you get up here, then you can get on this portion. And then you want to kind of get yourself up on this little ledge. Now that you're up here, you want to jump up on this thing. And then jump up on this thing. And then directly in front of us, you see that little like edge in the rock there? That's where we're going to be jumping to. You're going to jump over here and completely mess it up. Alright, let's try this again. So we're going to jump over here and get on this thing. Then you see the other piece of the rock right up there. Boom, we're going to jump up on this thing. And then we're going to jump up and to the right. Boom, now you're up here. And that's pretty much it. That's all you're going to have to do uh, instead of this last step, which is to come all the way over here to the edge. All my friends are dead. Push me to the edge. And you're going to jump off and spam your right bumper, or R1. And you shouldn't die. If you don't spam your attack, you don't have to spam it. Just press it enough that you're constantly in the animation of attacking. Uh, that if you don't do this, you'll just die. Uh, just keep that in mind. That that's why you want to do this, because if you do this, as you can see, we're not dead. But we would already be dead if I wasn't attacking. Also, this is going to be done on New Game Plus, so we're going to get slightly more runes. Well, uh, quite a lot more runes than you'd normally get. Uh, it's going to pop up at the bottom right of the screen here any second now. And there we go. It said 4,000, but as you can see, we have like almost 400,000. Uh, I already had like a hundred thousand I think so we got like 300k about now this is done on new game plus though oh yeah after that you want to fast travel back as soon as you see your runes fast travel back uh, this is done on new game plus so I'm gonna be getting more runes than normal uh, but yeah that that's how you do it that's how you do it we're gonna run through it real quick one more time I'm gonna come on oh, oh blah, blah, blah. come over here jump up on this thing and jump up on this thing turn right around and get up on this thing once you're up here, get up on this little ledge, up on this thing, get on this ledge, on this rock. Uh, we somehow just managed to jump way, just right up there. We didn't even have to do a second jump. Uh, this method is, like, I would say it's a lot easier than the previous one I put up. But, uh, there's less steps to it. Uh, I did say it'll pop up any second now, but that took a while. You'll probably realistically be falling for, like, a minute like a real life minute, so like 60 seconds, I would say. Just about, a it happened, what, like maybe six seconds ago? Seven, eight seconds ago? Nine seconds ago, just about? 10 seconds ago, just about? So we're gonna add 10 seconds to the stopwatch here, and we're gonna see ex exactly how long it takes. I'll cut the video. And right there it is, yeah, it's about a minute. Roughly like 57 seconds or something like that. But yeah, that's it right there for you. Uh, if you did enjoy this video, then drop it a like. If you did not enjoy this video, then drop it a dislike. If you guys want to see more videos like this, then go ahead and hit the sub button. You'll see more. I'll learn all that stuff. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye. As you can see, though, that little bit of time, however long this video is, I'd say I've been doing this like maybe five minutes or so. Uh, 600,000 runes, man. Realistically, like 500,000, because I think I already had that. But if you're my level, this wouldn't be... I mean, this would be pretty good, but not great. I mean, because it costs... 
what is it, <laughs> 345,000 for me to level up one time. But I am level 210, so I guess that does make sense. But yeah, bye-bye. LBB, you done did them dirty, fool.